Welcome to the Daily Sun News Show. Here's some of the news making headlines in your hometown. Five American heroes receive handmade items of appreciation. Plus, you'll meet a dedicated Villages Boulder who was striking it up. The mission of the Quilts of Valor Foundation is to cover service members and veterans touched by war with comforting and healing quilts of valor. On Tuesday, members of the Khaki Quilters, a chapter of the Quilting Guild of the Villages, presented beautiful handmade quilts of valor to five deserving veterans. My sister asked me about a year ago if I'd be interested in doing this, and most of us veterans, we don't want recognition. We, there's people that deserve a lot more than we did, and stuff like that. But I know she enjoys quilting and wanted to do it. And she was part of this quilts group from the villages here. And I said, yeah, go ahead. When you see the quilt, you know, it's got, it's got a picture of me first out of boot camp and then basically near the end. And it's kind of like, you know, there's, it's just, his memories that, like I say, I'll never forget. I mean, it's, and it, I have a perfect place. And I'm, a lot of people will use theirs. Mine will probably hang on the wall. The trouble is you can't see both sides of it, and both sides are really beautiful. Postage stamp fabric, and my dad was a stamp collector, so I said it's got a little bit of dad in it too. And my mom was a sewer, so I have followed in her footsteps. I think it turned out gorgeous. I'm very proud of it. I'm proud of him. It's just special to see the men honored because they, I don't think they really expect it. Um, a lot of the veterans don't get that respect. They, they do a wonderful job here. If you're not part of the quilting group and you quilt, you need to be part of the quilting group. These people do a tremendous job and outstanding for the people. The first veteran to receive a quilt was Senior Master Sergeant Richard Meyer, who served in the United States Air Force from 1962 to 1996. L. Kirk Lewis was a colonel in the U.S. Army for 28 years. He says he flew the last airplane out of Vietnam and also spent decades working with the Department of Defense. Purple Heart recipient James Bradley was a sergeant in the United States Army. It's funny, it's, I think I tried to count that I was sitting in my seat. I think it was 55 years ago in Vietnam. And uh, this day kind of makes me remember it, but. I remember in a very positive and, uh, and with humility that uh, we all survived, the gentleman here, and uh, the war was difficult, but uh, I think we all can say we did our duty uh, to our country, and we represented the United States of America very well. The final recipient was Charlie Phillips, a specialist in the U.S. Army. He says it was humbling to receive the quilt, and he always felt like he owed this nation and the service far more than it has owed him. The khaki quilters have awarded more than 100 quilts of valor to veterans over the years. For even more on this patriotic story, take a look in the local news section of Thursday's Daily Sun. From cooking meals to presenting the colors at funerals or ceremonies, veterans have plenty of ways to volunteer at the largest post in the world, American Legion Post 347 in Lady Lake. With more than 10,000 members, Post 347's second vice, Don Hart, says the volunteer group probably doesn't reach the number 100. But if people would like to volunteer a few hours a week or a few hours a month, they could fill a lot of the voids. Don says the top three positions that are in need of volunteers are for Honor Guard, kitchen staff, and office staff. Honor Guard volunteers are required to be veterans. The post provides uniforms and meals. The kitchen staff could use another 10 people. Office volunteers answer phone calls, take member applications and dues, plus they assist those coming into the post. There are minimum requirements to become a volunteer. For more details, you can call the post at 352-750-2099 Stop by the office at 699 West Lady Lake Road in Lady Lake from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And also take a look at the front page of Thursday's Daily Sun to learn more. Another veterans group is also seeking volunteers. Villages Honor Flight is looking for volunteers to fill a variety of roles. This includes being a guardian for a veteran on a mission, greeters, coordinators, and other positions too. 
Applications are available at villageshonorflight.org. Those who are interested in becoming a guardian must fill out a separate application. After this short break, a bowler continues to impress on the lane, so stay with us. I'm Tony Pagano, General Sales Manager at Plaza Cadillac. We've restocked our inventory, so take home a new Cadillac today during our Made to Move sales event. Enjoy 2.19% APR for up to 60 months, plus 500 bonus allowance on most new Cadillacs. Or choose a certified pre-owned Cadillac with a five-year unlimited mileage warranty. Experience Cadillac today on our website or at your home or office. At Plaza Cadillac, our drive to be the best starts with you. Highway 441, across from the Leesburg Airport. That won't be necessary. At Bill Bryan Kia, we won't make you break your piggy bank. With our lineup of great gas mileage cars or one of our seven hybrid or electric vehicle options, you'll be able to go wherever the road may lead you without worrying about expensive fill-ups. You'll be saving now and down the road. Don't break your piggy bank. Get your next vehicle at Bill Bryan Kia, where the people make the difference. Twice a week, Mary Strickland walks up to the first tee at a golf course in the villages and prepares to hit a ball and reach a green that she can't even see. A childhood accident left this village of Hawkins resident blind in her right eye. Then she went on to lose the remainder of her vision in May 2020. She does need assistance to play golf with others helping to line her up to the ball and telling her where to aim. Daughter Melissa Fowler accompanies her to the course and serves as her caddy, doing everything she can to help out. When Mary is putting, Melissa will tap the ball on her mom's club so she can get a gist of where everything is at. And sometimes somebody will even go to the pin and talk as Mary follows their voice. Melissa says this allows her mom to have some normalcy in her life and having time with her has taught Melissa how to play the game of golf. And she says it has been something special that they do together. Mary's one golfing goal is to get a hole in one, even though she won't be able to see it. For more about Mary, take a look at the Only in the Villages feature starting on the front page of Thursday's Daily Sun. The sport of bowling attracted Victoria Warden to the Villages, and ever since, she has been improving her game thanks to her own drive and dedication, along with the help from residents on the lanes, too. When I saw both of the bowling alleys so close together, I knew that this was a great place for me, plus just the lifestyle in general. So I was a bowler when I was younger. Uh, I started at six years old and bowled up until about 25 and then life happens and I quit bowling and uh, came back about 35 years later. I had about a 164 average when I first came to the villages two and a half years ago. I'm proud to say that I, in one of my leagues I have a 210 average. So I have made quite an improvement. Uh, I wish I could take it uh, all the credit for it, but really it's very little credit for me. It's really the people that have helped me. Uh, the people have been very friendly. All the bowlers have been very friendly. It's like a big family. Well, I absolutely love it. I mean, I enjoy bowling competitively in some of the competitive leagues, but at the same time I enjoy bowling and uh, substituting in the bad bowlers uh, league. So either way, as long as I'm bowling, I'm, I'm, that's my sport. So I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. I feel like I turn into a 12-year-old once I strike. I'm always celebrate. You know, if I strike, I'm going to celebrate. So it just comes natural. If I have to look at myself on a video and watch myself, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I do that. But it just happens. I just would encourage everyone out there, if they are interested in bowling, please check the pro shops, you know, at Fiesta and Spanish Springs. All the staff uh, people there are just great at helping you. You just get a ball, some shoes, and a bag, and you're ready to go. And there's so many leagues. 
at every level to participate. So I, I encourage getting out. It's in air conditioning. It's a, it's a great place to socialize and to meet people. On Wednesday, Victoria rolled a 296 game during league as she continues to get closer to her goals of rolling a 300 game and 800 series. And then on January 22nd, she advanced to round two in her very first year participating in the annual Properties of the Villages Real Results Tournament that continues on February 19th at Fiesta Bowl. With a name and feel, residents in this community will have the opportunity to take on staff with the Villages Recreation and Parks on the fields and sports courts. The Challenge the Rec staff series, previously called the Sports Challenge, will return in February as residents wear off against staff in six sporting events, one every other month through December. The first event will be a putting contest February 10th at First Responders Recreation. Activities will include corn toss, billiards, water volleyball, bocce, and pickleball. Residents can sign up to compete beginning on the last Thursday of the month that precedes the event. All you have to do is go to districtgov.org, then click on Recreation underneath the Departments tab. For more details on this event, as well as to learn more about Bowler Victoria Warden, take a look at the sports section of Thursday's Daily Sun. Up next, we have details about some weekend happenings. We'll be right back. In life, timing is everything, and having safe money to weather the downsides is important. Why? Once upon a time, there existed two siblings, older brother Bill and little sister Jill. Bill did well saving for retirement, and when he reached retirement age in 1996, he had accumulated $1 million in total retirement assets and experienced four years of positive returns before weathering two bear markets from 2000 to 2002 and 2008 to 2009. Bill's timing allowed his savings to grow before the negative returns hit. Jill retired in 1999. She also amassed $1 million in total retirement assets, but she only had one year of positive returns before the first bear market. Jill's retirement was simply bad timing resulting in a different sequence of market returns. Contact us for a complimentary consultation to discuss your timing with our prestigious team of financial professionals. Enjoy your life your way. Earlier in this show, we highlighted the incredible work of members of the Khaki Quilters. You can see even more impressive and colorful creations by resident quilters during an event at Rohan Recreation. On Friday and Saturday, the Quilting Guild of the Villages is having its annual showcase of quilts. More than 500 quilts will be on display, along with charity quilts, vendors' boutiques, and more. Admission is going to be $10 per person, and this is open to all residents of the villages. Showcase of quilts will be from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday and 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday again at Rohan Recreation. A vintage collectible showcase and sale is scheduled for Saturday at Savannah Center. There will be tables filled with antique glassware, jewelry, clothing, and much more. You might be inspired to start your very own collection, or maybe you'll find a special piece to add what you already have. The public is welcome to attend this free event from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday at Savannah Center. We'll be back with more news from Florida's friendliest hometown after a short commercial break, so stay with us.
broadcasting and streaming live from Lake Sumter Landing in a small building with big windows near the water. AM 640, 102.7 and 104.5 FM. Your soundtrack to the villages. WVLG Wildwood. Why purchase from the Village's golf cars? There are dozens of advantages. We're the only authorized dealer within a 20-mile radius. We only buy factory-certified PTVs with factory headlights, wiring harness, and a full warranty. We carry all three major brands and have over 300 golf cars to purchase that you can drive home today. You gain access to accessories that are exclusive to the Village's golf cars, and with five locations open seven days a week, we're here for you, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday, and noon to 5 on Sunday. Stop in and see us today. Resident talent will be displayed at Eisenhower Recreation during an annual photography showcase. The Village's Photo Club brings together resident photographers, giving them the chance to practice and develop their skills. Some of their work will be available for purchase, including award-winning images. You can also place a vote for the People's Choice Award Photograph of the Year. The photography showcase is going to be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday at Eisenhower Recreation. If you love a good book, then this might be the event for you. On Sunday, the 2023 Central Florida Book and Author Expo will shine a light on the works of local authors. This is hosted by the Writers League of the Villages, and it will feature more than 100 authors along with their books. Admission is free and open to the public. The Book and Author Expo is from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sunday at Eisenhower Recreation. It's time now for a brief commercial break and a look at that five-day forecast. We'll be right back. Rocking, dancing, relaxing, or romancing. Thank you for listening to Your Village's soundtrack, WVLG. The best mix of music. Hearing loss doesn't have to be this painful. We can help. Take our seven day free trial. Elite Hearing Centers of America. From hearing problems to hearing solutions. Get ready to lace up your walking shoes and enjoy some macaroni and cheese at a few upcoming charitable events. Registration is open now through Monday for the City of Fruitland Park's annual 5K Love Run as part of Love Week. If you sign up at raceroster.com by Monday, the cost is $30, which will include a t-shirt. Day of registration is going to be $40 with no guarantee of a race t-shirt. This is a free kids fun run. The 5K Love Run starts at 8 a.m. February 11th at Fruitland Park Community Center at 205 West Berkman Street. In neighboring Lady Lake, the Lady Lake Area Chamber of Commerce is going to be hosting its second annual Mac and Cheese Festival March 11th. This year, it'll take place from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Log Cabin Park. Last year, within the first two hours of the event, they had given out more than 8,000 samples of Mac and Cheese. This free event will accept donations to help Villages Elementary of Lady Lake to pay for electronic equipment. Learn more about these charitable events and more in Thursday's Daily Sun. Live musical entertainment is available here every day of the year. These are the bands ready to perform for you on Friday.
That's all the news we have for you now. Make sure to pick up a copy of Friday's Daily Sun to learn more about Holocaust Remembrance Day. Thanks for watching.
When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. And air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. So call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. People ask me, what's the difference between pest prevention and pest control? It's simple. Pest control involves applying pesticides inside and outside your home, whether needed or not. At Massey Services, we just don't do that. We focus on eliminating conditions outside your home to keep pests from getting inside. I believe in it so much, it's exactly what I do for my family. That's Massey Services. Expect more and get it.